The meteor that exploded over a Russian town yesterday is drawing a lot of attention around the world, but while uncommon, it's not unheard of for a meteorite to hit Earth. In fact, about 40 miles northwest of Lafayette in Kentland, the remains of a meteorite impact are still present. As News 18's Holly Campbell reports, it's a site known around the world by scientists and has become a learning place for both students and educators. It is what most people don't know, the um, site of a world-class impact crater. Purdue professor of Earth, Atmospheric, and Planetary Science, Jay Malosh, is talking about Kintland, Indiana, a small town a lot of people in Indiana may not know about. But if you're a scientist, Malosh says you've heard of the world-famous Kintland Crater. Malosh says between 10,000 and 340 million years ago, a meteorite estimated about a half mile in diameter hit Earth near the small town in Newton County. But what's significant is that it's the first place scientists discovered characteristic fracture marks in the rock, called shatter cones. Shatter cones were first discovered um, in the 1940s at Kentland. So among scientists, it's a famous site. Uh, and they indicate an, uh, a presence of uh, extra shock pressures, and that means a meteor impact. The site is now a quarry where the unique rock structures are mined. It also serves as a place for researchers, students, and educators to learn about the unique shatter cones that can only be created by a meteorite impact. Quarry Superintendent Roger Bollinger says after 37 years at the plant, he's used to seeing the unique rock layers, but when visitors come, they're blown away. It's kind of a natural thing to see the rocks standing vertical, but uh, when, when people come in here that haven't seen the structure that it is here, they're pretty much amazed with the, the, what forces that it would take to actually disturb the earth and do what, what it did. So what would happen if a meteorite impact like the one in Kintland happened today? Although it wouldn't cause a global extinction, uh, we might suffer global crop failures for a couple of years from the dust raised and the change in climate caused by an impact of that size. And that would, uh, for our current civilization, disrupt transport, uh, there would be massive starvation. It's conceivable that half the population of the world would, would die. Luckily, Malash says scientists expect one meteorite impact, like the size of the one in Kintelen, every one million years. Holly Campbell, News 18. The quarry owned by Rogers Group is not open to the public, but Roger Bollinger says if you would like to visit, you can always schedule a tour.